Hello friends, welcome to the channel. Uh, I hope you had a great Diwali and a safe Diwali. Wishing you all a very happy Diwali. Uh, so today I am going to talk about an American Express card, yet another favorite of mine, which is the American Express uh, Platinum Travel card that I have here. I have two of such cards, one in my name and one in my wife's name. I'm not talking about the uh, supplementary cards, the add-on cards. We have two such add-on cards, right? So now uh, moving on to understand what are the uh, what is the eligibility of this card. I'm going to talk about everything: eligibility, benefits and how I use this card so that you also get an idea and you know you can plan your spends accordingly. So uh, firstly eligibility. Eligibility is very simple if you are someone who earns 6 lakh rupees per annum in India has a good credit history and uh, are a resident of India mostly you will you are eligible to get this card and I'm sure as a viewer you are definitely eligible to get this card. Uh, then what is the joining fee? Joining fee is 3500 rupees plus taxes in the first year. Second year onwards the renewal fee is 5000 rupees plus taxes. In the first year uh, upon payment of the joining fee and by spending 15,000 rupees in the first 90 days what happens is you get 10,000 uh, bonus points right and if I put a value of say 0 0.4 to 0 0.6 rupees on the bonus points then you get uh, you know anything between 4,000 rupees to 6,000 rupees on the first year uh, renewal right so that is again a good benefit that is available only in the first year now so now let us talk about the uh, reward structure on this card. The reward structure is very simple. You spend 50 rupees, you get uh, one point on this card. This card does not give you any points on things like fuel, utility payments and stuff like that. So beware about that and you know plan your expenses accordingly. But there is a good thing about this card wherein you can use this card for such spends like fuel and utility bills. Uh, let me tell you. So this card uh, has a milestone benefit. Okay, the first milestone benefit is uh, if you spend one lakh ninety thousand rupees in the card year, you get uh, uh, 15,000 uh, bonus reward points, right? And if you spend an additional of uh, 2 lakh 10,000 rupees, which is a cumulative of 4 lakh rupees on this card, you get additional 25,000 bonus points. And not only the bonus points, you get 10,000 rupees worth of Taj vouchers as well. So a total of uh, 25 plus 15, 40,000 bonus points plus points on the regular spends that you get and 10,000 rupees worth of Taj vouchers. So now if you assign a value of say 0.5 rupees to each point, you can get almost 20,000 rupees worth of benefits on this and 10,000 worth of benefits from the Taj vouchers. So total of 30,000. So 30,000 uh, rupees worth of benefits on 4 lakh rupees spent works out to around you know uh, 8 uh, percent odd uh, returns which is a good uh, return actually you know when you when it comes to a very simple card like this so but you know but there are better cards out there right like the Axis Magnus or the American Express MRCC card which is a little bit higher returns so you should have to plan your expenses very uh, smartly on this card so uh, until last year I did not have Axis Magnus so my strategy was very simple on this card I would use it first I would ensure that I've exhausted all my spends on the uh, other cards like you know HDFC Infinia or the Access uh, uh, Vistara Infinite or it could be the American Express Membership Rewards Credit Card but mostly it was the American Express Membership Rewards Credit Card and the HDFC Infinia. HDFC Infinia only where you get 5x and 10x reward points right. So over and above that what I would do is I would spend on this card. Now you know say for example you're going to a supermarket and you've already exhausted your uh, spends on the American Express uh, Membership rewards card then you can use this card then there are things like uh, property tax payments right uh, for example if you are hold a property and you have a tax payment to make or income tax payment for that instance or your NPS payments right so you can use the card for all of such expenses also so what I have been doing is I have been making all the income tax payments and property tax payments on this card and also uh, you know NPS payments is also I've used this card to meet the four lakh rupees worth of milestones so not only you get the NPS tax benefit you are also investing your money and you are also able to use the card to generate some returns right so this is uh, what you can do uh, say for example you don't have any other card and you have just this card it is also works out say for example you have someone who whose annual spend is only 3 to 4 lakh rupees then this is the best card for you actually to be very honest right you don't have to look at other cards so when your spends increase you can start considering other cards like HDFC Infinia or Access Magnus so the strategy around cards has to be very simple you have to first understand what is your expenses pattern and how much you are going to spend in a year then based on that you decide which cards you need in your wallet right just because someone else has a lot of cards does not mean you also have all those cards right so first focus on uh, what uh, you have and what you can uh, you know what cards you can hold based on your own expenses uh, pattern only then you can you should use this card but it's a very good card if your expenses less than five lakh rupees I think you should definitely uh, go for it right so uh, but for me my spend is more than 10 lakh rupees in a year so I have 
different sets of cards right so i have the axis magnus you know wherein in any month if i am spending 1 lakh rupees i will use the axis magnus first in any month i am not spending 1 lakh rupees then i will not use the axis magnus and i'll try to prioritize the axis american express membership rewards card and probably this card the idea is to ensure that you get the maximum benefit out of your cards even otherwise even if you have just the axis magnus right let me just show you the axis magnus even if you uh, uh, this is the axis magnus that i have and even if you have just the axis magnus it is a good card because the the overall reward rate is uh, 4.8% right which is a very good uh, reward rate to be very honest so uh, folks ideally uh, for don't focus on getting too many cards you know it, on social media it is uh, uh, it is a status symbol of sorts that you know i have 30 cards i have 50 cards i have 100 cards it does not matter i just have six cards right i have reduced i used to have 10 plus cards but i have reduced it because focus on what matters and focus on what you need and focus on what works for you just having too many things is not matter same like you know investing right if you you invest in more than two or three mutual funds you will end up making index kind of returns right so the idea is to not make index kind of returns the idea is to beat the index right so similarly the idea is to maximize your uh, returns on your spends from your credit cards by using the card smartly and using having the right set of cards and not uh, really focusing on uh, what my neighbor has or what my friend has or what someone else on social media has right so you also have to understand what is your Uh, what kind of benefits you need right some people don't really need uh, travel benefits from the credit cards right some people just need cash back then these cards are not for for you then you should look at standard chartered ultimate or you should look at uh, hdfc millennia is also a very good card in that for that matter for a beginner then uh, you should look at bank of baroda eterna card so you should look at such cards when your uh objective from the credit card reward points are different so you should also have a understanding fair understanding of the objective from the reward points uh, what what you want from the uh, reward points right so i hope uh, this video was useful uh, if you have any questions with respect to this card you know why don't you just drop in into the comment section and i will um, ensure that i answer all your questions i hope you had a great diwali again uh, do share this video with your friends family members and uh, you know everyone uh, you think should watch this video thank you for watching do not forget to like share and subscribe